Hi guys, um, today we're going to learn about how to create your own custom Slack integration with Apply Tools Eyes. Uh, this means that you'll be able to inject your test results directly into a channel within Slack. So to get started, uh, we'll, it is recommended to create, um, I would say, a temporary or a sandbox kind of account with Slack just to experiment before you start uh, pushing notifications into your official a team uh, Slack channel. So I've created one already. I have it right here. And this is my playground box. And I'll start off by creating a team here. I'm going to create, call it Apply Tools Tests and create a channel. And that's my new channel for uh, my test results. Once I've done that, I will follow this article and I have all the links uh, for all these articles um, uh, in the comments below so you can uh, follow them later on. So once um, we're ready with the Slack channel, we need to build our first Slack application. So we start off by creating our application. I already have one here that I shouldn't have. Let me just delete. Delete app. Yes, I am sure. Okay. So first we need to name the app. We're going to call it Apply Tools and associate it with the Slack uh, team that we have here. This is my playground. Create app. Once we're inside the app, we're going to click Incoming Webhooks. We're going to communicate with our Slack channel uh, via their webhooks. It's the simplest way. There are more complex ways to do that. I just picked this one um, just to show how easy it is. Once this is enabled, we can now go ahead and add a webhook to that workspace. And we're picking a channel, in this case, Apply Tools Tests authorizing it and now we're gonna have our webhook URL right here I'm gonna copy it and just to you know if you want to read more about it you can read about uh, a slack incoming uh, webhooks here I basically followed this article to create the code I'm gonna show you right now so in your application um, you can add a class and you can I would wrap it within a jar so you can reuse it between different uh, projects um, that this class will accept a test results object which is an object that is returned whenever you call eyes close and then you can later on uh, work with it to uh, figure out the test results of each test that you just ran whether it's passed or failed or a mismatch a number of steps and so on and so on we also accept the, the webhook URL. Uh, that's part of, uh, that's the one we just grabbed from Slack. Uh, here is the code. Again, you can look at it later and understand it's a simple uh, HTTP post that we're um, firing into that webhook. The test, the test itself within Apply Tools, uh, we're just building our eyes object. We're setting API key, spinning up a driver, setting up a batch just for the sake of this example. Um, opening eyes, navigating to a URL, and grabbing a screenshot. And when we're done, we're getting the test results. And this is the object we're passing to uh, eyes Slack. Now, let's run this test. But before that, we need to add the webhook URL to our environment variables, just uh, out of habit. And run. So what's happening now is the test is running, we're navigating to our hello world uh, page, and when the test is over, the, the tests are injected into our dashboard, and we see here already our test uh, appearing in Slack. So if we go into our Slack channel, we can see here the test results, and all this is customizable in the code that I just showed you. Uh, you can add, or remove, or edit any of those uh, fields that you want to appear here. And by clicking see results, you can actually navigate directly into the dashboard to see 
the test results we just had. Now, if we're gonna run the test again, and this time we're gonna change it a bit using diff1 flag and run, this should generate a mismatch in our test results and we can see right here test mismatch found the color has changed to orange to match uh, the way it appears in the dashboard and you can control that as well click on see results and we can actually see the mismatches that we have here um, between the baseline and the checkpoint uh, we can see this guy and we can toggle between the baseline and the checkpoint and see that the number has changed basically so it's as simple as that uh, uh, this class you can again download it from the example below um, and this is how you use it within your test uh, if you have any other questions feel free to reach out